You're watching when keeping it real goes wrong. And the club's new publicist. No, this ain't about publicity. Everything's about publicity. You're the drug dealer. Your coke's all stepped on and dirty. Ghetto shit. Going forward, we're gonna be using my source. I bet you won't. Yeah, this doesn't know who she's with. Who are you calling a bitch? You, Rob. bitch. Oh! I'm not the one. I'm not some scared ass white girl, honey. Did you go poopy? Medium well. No doubt. Today, a sparkling example of when keeping it real goes wrong. Antonia. Antonia Deppner. That was Tony Deppner. The dog, right? That microwave and little nigga got radiated. Yo, that's a way to go out. You got to save a dance for me. I'm not very good at dancing. Yo, I'm good enough for the both of us. Uh. <laughs> Oh, come on, baby. I'm just joking. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry about all of this. No one's ever fought for me before. Hey, man, nobody disrespecting my girl. And he's yours now. Just make sure you keep his ass away from the microwave. But you're, like, thoughtful. And you, like, like me. I like the club. Yeah, I, I like everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Ain't no brothers I know cuddle. I've dated plenty of black guys who like to cuddle, Marvin. So you're gonna leave because I wanted to get close to you? Yo, LT ain't got no food. Dog hadn't eaten since yesterday. But I bet you ate, right? Hey, I don't want us to end like this. In? Us? LT rolling with me. LT was a gift you gave him to me. I also gave you this. Want me to leave that behind too? You old business. What business exactly? Maybe I have it, but you're gonna have to tell me what it's for. Tell me and I will give it to you. Yo, kiss my ass, Tony. Hey, I promise you, him and his entire family are dealers in Queens. Yeah. We got you in two counts of possession with intent to distribute, Tony. Go straight to prison. That is, unless you get us something bigger than you. Soon. Tell Marvin that Tony can't be trusted. Where you been tonight, Mr. Thomas? Uh, visiting a friend of town. Here's where I can see him. Yo, man, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't done shit. Step out of the car. You got a brand new warrant for felony drug possession with intent to distribute. What the I do? Get the out. Oh, Tony, you big CI. Yo, Tony let you hit the all night for an eight ball. Maybe less if you're a brother. Marvin. Pig. I tracked down your friend who was working as an informant for the police. She's engaged to be married to a dentist out in Westchester. She just has some nice ass teeth. I mean, they hurt, but she left the skin on there. <laughs> if only you knew where that mouth been at. up in Westchester, you know, living happily ever after and shit. Who's the sucker she roped? I'm like one night, met some rich guy blowing lines, and then she started blowing him. Try the Jew path of that Yeah, well, I don't live in Jersey. I'm in Westchester, Scarsdale. Scarsdale. Word. I got a rap problem. How much? Five. If I do this, all right, my father doesn't know about this. I love you, babe. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Like the video, leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're gonna be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 2. 
and we're gonna be talking about your girl Tony Deep. This is the Remembering Tony Deep Throat video. We had to talk about her character, especially you know, based off what we've been seeing thus far. I mean, it's getting crazy. And taking out Tony Deep, you know, already know it yielded a lot of daily consequences, right? We have Marvin and Miss Renee that got shot at. We're still waiting on the outcome of that. As well as Marco Bocelli, we saw what happened to him in that encounter that he had while he was taking out Tony Deep. And we know what happened to Dominic. He ended up getting taken out later on, right? And as of right now, it seems like a war between the Italians and Rock's organization is about to, you know, take off in this next upcoming episode. But it was all based on Marvin wanting to take out Tony Deep. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. Y'all let me know what did y'all think about her character. And also make sure you check out my last few videos. I dropped the exclusive clip between Rock and Jukebox last night. And I dropped the How Did Kenya Know Jukebox Was Gay fan theory video as well. So follow the playlist. Continue to keep yourself updated on all the latest power news. And I will continue to give you guys these videos. But let's talk about your girl, Tony Deep Throat. And to be honest, she could have easily survived, but she slipped up. You know what I'm saying? She slipped up when she became a CI and she decided to try to snitch on Marvin. That was a huge mistake. And when we found out that information back in season one, I think we all pretty much knew it was just a matter of time, you know, before Tony Deep was taken out. I talked about this when it happened and she was just on borrowed time. And the thing about it is Marvin... Throughout his whole anger management therapy, he used all the tools. I mean, he could have went off at any given moment, right? He used those tools to help him with his anger. Everything was going good. And I will say this, the time that Marvin probably needed to use those tools was this one. You know what I'm saying? He probably needed to just wait to take out Tony Deep. I think once he found out that she was a CI and she was up there snitching, he knew right then and there, like, okay, I'm going to take her out eventually, you know what I'm saying? Because we saw at the very beginning of season two, he wanted to know where Tony Deep was at, right? So this is what I've been talking about. This man been plotting and planning in his head like, okay, I got to take her out because she ain't about to just sit up there trying to set me up and think she's going to get away with it. Plus, she was engaged with that dentist. Marvin was like, hell nah, there's no way she's about to have a fairy tale ending. It's just not about to happen. Now, Marvin never really showed a lot of anger when it came to Tony Deep, every time he asked about her, he was always calm or whatever. Um, it didn't seem like he was about to go off, but it was more of his actions, the things that he was doing. Asking about her, of course, asking about the location, going there, following her. And when he couldn't really get around the location without being watched by the police, he said, you know what? I got to take a different route. And this is why he ended up, you know, getting Marco Bocelli to do the hit for him, which is why... He's in the position that he's in right now. It's all based on Marvin's actions. Down below, I want you guys to let me know, if you was Marvin, would you have just waited to take out Tony Deep Throat or would you have just let it go? I mean, I understand the game and I know Marvin was just like, oh, hell no, nah, I got to get her. I got to get her. But if he was going to take her out, I would say Marvin probably should have just waited on this one. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no use to rushing it. Um, You know, complete your anger management therapy. Stay cool. Worry about you know, fixing that anger and getting back good with Jukebox. That's what you have to worry about. Tony Deep Throw is Tony Deep Throw. Let her do what she she does. You know what I'm saying? You can get her down the line if that's what you really want to do. It's understandable, right? But that hit that he had on Tony Deep was a big mistake because we're seeing that right now. Marco Bocelli, he was able to take her out, but he suffered those consequences because he picked a sorry partner to get the job done with, right? Dominic was horrible. I don't understand why you would ever pick a guy like this to do a job. That was stupid. And like Rock said, that was Marco's mess up. I mean, he screwed that up by even having him with him in the first place, right? So Marco Bocelli is out of the picture. Dominic, who killed Marco Bocelli and ended up getting taken out by the Italians his damn self, he ain't here no more. And then we have Marvin and Miss Renee getting shot at because of what happened at that hit right and seeing that in the next episode we're going to find out what happens i told you guys i believe marvin is good i don't necessarily know about miss renee but everything that happened is just based on marvin wanting to take down tony d and these are the consequences so how will they deal with it i can't wait to see the conclusion of this whole thing but today we are remembering your girl tony deep throat at a time, her and Marvin, they had something good going. You know what I'm saying? He was clapping those cheeks, having a good old time. 
and he was using the club. I mean, a lot of different things was going on. And of course, we know Tony Deep worked at Club Truth before it was Club Truth, right? And like I told y'all, to be honest, she had an easy route. All she had to do was continue to do her thing in the club, not screw over Marvin, lay off the coke a little bit because she was starting to do a little bit too much. She ended up getting screwed up. And of course, the boys caught her slipping and we know what happened. The rest is history. So it is what it is, man. These are the consequences of her actions. And unfortunately, what is going on right now is the consequences of Marvin's actions. So we're going to see what's going to happen next within this whole storyline. You guys let me know, what did y'all think about Tony Deep Throat's character? I know a lot of people didn't like her. I know a lot of dudes liked her because they like looking at her. But it is what it is, man. On to the next one. We're going to see what's going to happen next. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.